Okay, so I'm not going to want you to do the whole question. We're just going to be focusing on the programming. So we have a golf club that holds information about its members. When a member completes a round of golf, their score is stored along with their membership number and the date of the round, i.e. when they played. So information will be stored with a membership number, followed by the date, followed by the score, and it looks like it's all going to be on one line. So, so far, it doesn't tell us how many characters are going to be in the membership number, nor does it tell us um, how to store the data. So let's look at the programming. This is where we get more information. So the program will have a function called get number. So that's going to return a valid membership number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a function def get number. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And it's going to return a valid membership number. So let's have a look at a little bit more information. A valid membership number is going to be four digits. So we know that membership number now, if I go back, is going to be four digits. So I might make a note. If I was doing this by hand, I'll probably make a note and say four digits on here. Between 1111 and 9999. We've got some structured English. We're going to add some validation. So what validation rule would this require? If you need to get it between these numbers. Yes, you're right. A range check. We need to repeat. S step one again. If something's invalid. And we return the membership number as a string. So I can easily do that to start off with. Return string membership number and do I need to use the exact variables what they've given me? Do they give any variables? Yeah they do, membership number, so I need to spell it like that. Do 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 perfect. <clears throat> okay. So what other information do we get? Well, we know it's going to be in program code because it says program code in bold. We know that in the main code, this is how it's going to be called, but we don't need this for this part of the question. I need to mention what variables I'm using. I'm going to do that at the end and their data types. So there's different ways I can do this. The first thing I'm going to do is get them to enter in a membership number, nice and easy. So I'm going to do member number equals int input. Please enter a valid membership number. By the way, I was hoping you would have paused the video before seeing my solution. If you haven't, pause the video. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to be checking what we've done. So I'm going to do while member number is less than 1111 and member number is greater than 9999 dear sign oh dear dear sign of code Otherwise, it's going to break the loop, and we need to and it's set member number equals zero to begin with. 
I'm just going to call it to test it out. Get number. Get okay, test equals get number. Print test. And the code. Okay, I've made a boo boo somewhere. Membership number. So I'm going to call this member number. That's my boo boo. I've got another boo boo. So if I just move this down slightly. Okay. I'm going to make one more change, and that's going to be this being an or. So we're checking that. And then we're going to check that. It's going to be one or the other. So if I do that, not good. If I do that, not good. If I do that, perfect. So, there we go. You don't need this in your answer. That is enough.